Hey there guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Dead Space remake running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5600H. Now before we actually go into the numbers and the overall performance, I need to specify some problems that you're going to run into the game if you try to launch this on any system that has less than 4 gigabytes of VRAM. Specifically, this is going to affect APUs. Now most APUs are configured to have anywhere between half a gig to at most a gigabyte of VRAM. Some of them will even go all the way up to 2 gigabytes by default. It just depends on what the manufacturer set to the default in the BIOS. Now, this is not a problem for 99% of games because the APUs are designed to dynamically adjust their VRAM anyway by using the system RAM. The problem is, is that games do not recognize this dynamic VRAM as actual VRAM. It needs to essentially have it set and allocated in the BIOS for the game itself to actually recognize this. And Dead Space has a problem where if you try to launch it with a system with less than four gigabytes of VRAM, you get stuck in an infinite loading screen that will never progress. Now to fix this, you can't just go into the BIOS itself and adjust this. And I'm going to show you how to do it on the B-Link SCR5 mini PC that we have right here. You simply load into the BIOS by hitting the delete key. You move over to advanced and then you scroll on down to where it says AMD CBS. This is where you're going to have to go to to adjust this. Now you just go down to the MBIO and there should be a graphics config and you're going to have an option here that says iGPU configuration and it's going to be set to auto. You need to set it to UMA specified and then you go to the frame buffer size and you set it to four gigabytes at least. That's what it needs to be set to to actually be able to get this to work. And once you have all of this done, the game should actually run this time, but you're still going to be met with some issues. You're still going to have some pretty major performance issues because the game itself is just extremely, extremely demanding. Here you're looking at the game running at 1080p with the ultra performance preset in FSR, which it even specifies to you that you probably should should not use this unless you're gaming at 8K, which I think is a ridiculous thing for it to tell you. Who out here is actually gaming on an 8K display? Like it's it's such a meaningless thing, but it does impact the visual quality dramatically because essentially what's happening is that you're rendering the game at 360p and then that's being upscaled to 1080p. So it is pretty brutal visually speaking, and it does make looking at anything pretty hard to do, especially in a game that is this dark. But in general, what you're gonna notice is that there are just these constant stutters throughout the whole gaming experience. The F FPS average will be perfectly fine for a lot of it. We're usually going to be at a 30 FPS average, but as soon as you load into any new area, you're going to have this stutter and that's why the 1% lows show as zero, because that means that the bottom lowest FPS that you're going to get is zero, where you're just pretty much stuttering for more than a second. So it's not a great experience overall. It's going to be really, really difficult to try to do anything in this. It's really, really rough. And visually speaking, it already looks brutal by just setting it to the ultra performance reset in FSR. So while we could actually get the game to run, it's just not going to be that doable on here. Really, the only way I could actually get this to perform decently and not have any of the frequent stutter was to pretty much just set this to 720p and use the ultra performance preset of FSR on top of it. And this looked really, really bad. I'm not sure how well it's going to translate to the YouTube video itself because YouTube already compresses the video pretty significantly. But playing this, it looked really, really bad. Visually speaking, it looks worse in terms of detail in comparison to the original game, just because we're running this at such a low resolution. I mean, it, it is pretty impressive in the sense that it's such a low resolution and we are at least able to get somewhat of a dis discernible image out of it, which is more than I would have expected really. But it's one of those things where it's like, it's such a low setting and it visually looks so bad that I think the vast majority of people are pretty much better off not playing this. I mean, you're going to be spending like, what, $60 to play a game at the the worst possible settings. I mean, if you're really desperate to play this, you can get away with it. I mean, the level of performance that we get like this is so much better because the frequent stutter is eliminated pretty much. It just no longer happens. It will happen on occasion, but it'll recover way, way quicker. And it really just ends up not being a problem whenever you're actually in a specific area. Once you load into a new place, it might drop a little bit, but it's not going to be anything dramatic. I did also try to raise the FSR setting from the ultra performance to just performance and that ended up introducing the issues with 1% lows again. You were getting way more frequent stutters anytime you tried to move around the area and it just in general was not that great of an experience. And it's a shame because the 1% lows are really the biggest downside here. The averages themselves look fantastic. The game at least looks better than being at the ultra performance preset though. That is not saying much at all, but it just overall ends up being a not great experience. You can certainly get away with it in a lot of the gameplay areas 
is. The performance is going to be fine, as you can tell by the frame time charts, but it's just those moments where the stutters and spikes end up happening that kind of drag down the whole experience. In general, though, I think that if you're really, really desperate to play this game right now, you can get away with it with these lower resolutions and using FSR on top of it. But outside of that, I really think that you're probably better off waiting until you can get a system that is better. You can play through the original series at much better settings than this. I say you work your way through those if you've never played those before and then pick this up later down the line, especially because at least if you get this discounted later down the line, you can maybe make a justification on this performance or not. I will certainly feel better about this level of performance if I had just spent $20 on this game instead of $60. Now, thankfully, I'm going to be able to play this perfectly fine on my own desktop PC that has a 3070 Ti, but if I had spent $60 on this, I would be very disappointed. But to round things off, I just need to talk to you guys out there that are here subscribed mostly for just the 5500U. That's pretty much what I ended up building my channel around, so I understand that there are a lot of you guys out there that are only here for that content. I'm not saying that I'm not going to keep covering it, but I do want to specify that this game I'm not going to be able to cover on it. The reason being is that the HP laptop that I have has a BIOS lock essentially on the default VRAM. In the BIOS, I cannot adjust the amount of VRAM that is allocated. It is pretty much just hard locked to 512 megabytes. So because of that, I have no way of getting this game to actually work on there. It is extremely disappointing, and I understand that it's going to disappoint a lot of you guys as well, but there's really at this time nothing I can really do about it unless I go about trying to get another system that has a 5500U. I have been reaching out to some manufacturers out there hoping that maybe someone is willing to send me a laptop or a mini PC that has a 5500U. But as it stands right now, I'm just not going to be able to test it on there. And like that really disappoints me because I was really looking forward to trying it on there. This was a really expensive game to buy. And the fact that I can't really test it on the most popular system that I have is also really disappointing disappointing to see. So I do really apologize for that. Hopefully some manufacturer or someone reaches back to me about that and you know we can work something out on getting a system that will let me actually test it properly. But until then that's just how it's going to be guys. I do really appreciate you guys for watching though. And again I'm so sorry to disappoint you guys on that but I hope that you found at least this video interesting or useful or entertaining. If you did be sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one.